So why not record this since I've now figured this out? So um, how do you connect the Connex camera to Alan Bradley Studio 5000? Um, I'm doing this for my class, so for those that follow me, uh, this is to, it's not, this is a draft of a video. Hopefully a better one will come out later, but I'm just putting this out here so I can get this out to my class so we can do this next week. Um, but if you look on the screen here, Studio 5000, a couple things, you, you, we need to make sure that the prop, I'm going to go offline here, make sure we add our, um, add the um, camera to um, the IO configuration. This is the setup that I have. This is my IP address. Um, you know, if I go, if I hit cancel and hit new module, you find your, you find the camera that you need. Uh, if you don't have everything listed here, my recommendation is download the new add-on profile pack because that's what I had to do to install the new add-on profile so that I could get each individual individual camera installed into my I/O configuration so I can work with things a little bit easier. So that's what I have. I have an Insight 2000 series camera um, here. I added it in and I just called it Cogn and I didn't, for some reason, type out the rest. Oh well. As you can see, here's my, my control bits here. Uh, trigger, trigger enable, offline. Those are the ones that I'm gonna use primarily because that's gonna trigger the camera. Um, you can set up user data, which I'll walk through, but I'm not sending anything out to my camera yet. I'm just receiving stuff. Receiving stuff is a lot easier to set up. Um, if I go into my inputs, that's stuff that I get from my camera. Again, status is with the camera. So uh, trigger acknowledge, you can set these up um, and do everything um, with the uh, information you get from the camera, current the current ID, error code, et cetera, et cetera. But the, what I set up was inspection results. Those are stuff so you can set up in the camera. So if you want to get distances or something along that lines, you can do that. Um, the other thing that I, well, I'll set this up in a second. I'll go to that in a second. So make sure the camera's in there and it's communicating. Um, I'm going to take you over to the camera side of things. Here is my Insight setup. Uh, let me move my face down here so it's not in the way. Here's my Insight setup. Basically, if you, it, behind me is a camera with some, with some Legos attached to it. And I set this up. As a just a quick and dirty, let's de let's determine a pattern and let's make sure that we have the right look of it on the front end. All right, I'm not walking through how to set this up. Just assume that you know how to set this up already. A uh, couple things though, under the communication setup, you need to make sure the Ethernet IP, you know, the Ethernet setup is added. But this is how we, you know, so under inputs and outputs, here's all the physical outputs. We go offline. Yes, go offline. So going through the communications, if you want to add a device, this is where you add up your Ethernet IP. I've already got it added, so I'm going to cancel. And this is where you set up set up the stuff that you get up over here. So I can add information. So this just popped up on me. And if I wanted to add pattern to pass, for instance, I'll do that. Um, notice it comes in as a 16-bit integer over here. Um, I can do my float information. So the, all that information up here, the, the um, fixture score, the distance one here, um, the pass, I can add all that and that will come in over on, and I'll set, since I added this, I'll set it up again to show you. So this is how you can set that information and pass it through ethernet to, um, to the controller to be used. So that's all set up here, format output data, you can format input data as well. I'm not gonna do that at this, at this time. Um, and, the other thing I've set up image, yeah, that's it. Set up image under trigger. What type of trigger? You can do continuous, you can do something on the camera, you can do manual. I have it through industrial ethernet, so I can actually trigger the um, picture from my PLC. Okay, so make sure that, that is set up um, there under setup image and then the communication. Otherwise, the setup tools, the inspect tools, that stuff done a, a, another video much better than what I can do, but those that's those some basic setup communication. Um, I'm going to go back to um, studio because now that I, so, um, sorry, now that I see this, make note of the fact that I have a float, a float, an integer, an integer, okay? That's going to come in important because we want to set up a user-defined data type so we can process that data in our, in our information. So, whoops, come on. 
screen. Here we go. And so I have a user defined data type right here called Lego info. And I set up a real because that's our float. I set up a real because that's our float, a 16 bit integer because that's a 16 bit integer. And that's pass pattern. I'm going to change, change it slightly, pass pattern one. And I'm going to add a member, pass uh, pattern pass two. Did it pass pattern one? And did it pass pattern two? So if you're having multiple patterns, that's fine. I'm going to hit apply. It's going to have me rebuild the, the, the data type because I've already used it. And so if I go into, um, you know, so I created a data type camera one. Now I added another, uh, so you can see that right there. Um, camera distance picture score with a tag. Let me go to my main routine. This is my simple routine, okay? I have a copy to copy the, the file, because when you work with this, under your under your input information, under status, uh, no, inspection results, this is what comes in. So let me bring this over here. See this information right here? You can put all this information, this is what passes over to the inspection results right here, and that's what we're sending. So um, that's what we're setting up, and I'm going to put this back on the other screen so I can see it. And this is what we're setting up, all right? Um, so moving forward, we got that set up, my main routine. I'm using a copy. You know, uh, I'm copying over a length of four to my, to my information. And I have a simple push button on my trainer over here so that when it hits the button, it'll trigger it. I have an enable base, so you can enable the triggering. And if I turn it in the off state, it's going to turn the camera offline. It's a way for me to make sure things are set up right. So I'm going to go back to, I'm going to download this. Change it to run. And let me see if I can do, this is harder to do double screen. So I'm gonna go into run job and let's go online. Yes, I'm gonna go online. So right now it's saying comms online. That's because, that's because I have mine in a set off state. So if I turn, flip a switch, now it's enabled. If I flip back, you can see that the camera says online. Okay, so as I go to push the button, you can see it did a test, the test for me. Now, because my lighting kind of stinks, it's kind of off a little bit, because if I don't change anything, hit it again, it passes. So, you know, but you can see the numbers change, and if I move this out of the way and go into my controller tags, you can see that this that these numbers match my my distance in pixels and um, my pass ratio. You can see it matches completely because it's set up that way. So um, that's how we would set this up in a quick and dirty way. And once I have that data, I can do automate other things and say, hey, if it's this length rejected out. If the pattern's not detected, reject it out or do the next thing. So, so this is once you, but that's again all to, to predicated on how you set up your camera settings. Um, and if you want to see the whole kit caboodle, let me go Blair Witch for a second in my wonderful office. And you can see if I, you know, press the button, you can see the camera flash right there. And if I, so you can see the, it's flashing every time I hit the button. All right, so that's the that's the long and the short of it. And hope this was helpful. Um, as I said, very quick, very dirty.